Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm at the Lehigh Valley Zoo with Richard. Hello. Hello. I see that we have a polycarp on here, though. Yes, uh, at this point in time, this is the only wild cat that we have living in this area, in Pennsylvania. Uh, in the past, of course, there were cougars and maybe uh, a long time ago even uh, Canada lynx. Uh, right now, wild cats are very well adapted in color and it's amazing they have one of the widest ranges of, of a mammal in North America and they live in just about every type of habitat from our hardwood far deciduous forest to swamps to deserts uh, and with that they do vary a little bit in their coloring and markings to blend in. What do you feed these bobcats here? Here at the zoo, we, they get uh, mice, chicks, fish, and uh, some kibble, uh, that cat, that you feed a cat, uh, so that they get full nutrition. Do you feed um, live or? No, we do never, we never do feed live. Uh, everything is frozen and thawed for these animals. Uh, live animals uh, can fight back. Live animals can carry parasites and they can also escape. A live mouth if you were kept to one holes. Yes, exactly. And then you have mice everywhere. Right. What do they eat in their native environment? Uh, they'll eat birds, small mammals, and they might uh, get snakes, frogs, things like that. With all these different um, environments that they can live in, how, um, and you said that um, color varies, what other adaptations do they have for surviving in a bunch of varied environments? Well, they have, uh, notice the size of their ears, so they have very good hearing, very good eyesight, uh, and like all cats, they know very well how not to be seen. Very smart. And they're intelligent, yes. Um, like some um, big cats that live in snow areas, or other um, small species of cats, do they have um, larger feet? Uh, Actually, the bobcats, unlike lynx, do not have larger feet. Uh, although they do sometimes have to work in snowy conditions, uh, the lynx always, almost always are on snow for a good part of the year. How do you feel the difference between a lynx and a bobcat? Uh, lynx are generally larger and they're uh, distinguishable by the puffs on their ears. Also, uh, it's a little hard to tell unless you're very close up, but on the uh, the tails, they're striping, and on a bobcat, the stripe does not go entirely around the tail. Well, thank you, Richard, for telling us all about these bobcats. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel.